You can absolutely represent yourself in your injury case and even in court for your injury case if you want to take your claim to court. So while an attorney is not technically necessary for the handling of your injury claim, you should understand the odds are against you if you plan to represent yourself in your injury case. There are many reasons for this. I will highlight the top five reasons in this video. Reason number one, not to represent yourself for your injury claim, lack of knowledge to represent yourself. Now, some non-lawyers that are watching this video may have some knowledge on the applicable laws in your area when it comes to injury claims, but I doubt many viewers are in that boat. And the law is complicated. Navigating insurance and injury claim laws can be confusing, even for matters that seem simple. Also, coming up with an approximate value for your injury case can be hard, especially if you have no experience or very little experience valuing injury claims. The average person would not perform their own surgery, fix a plumbing leak in their home, or design an addition to their home. Instead, the average person would hire individuals specifically trained in those fields to do so, a surgeon, plumber, or architect, the legal field is no different. If you want to ensure the best possible result, hire an experienced lawyer to advocate for you. Reason number two, not to represent yourself for your injury claim, lack of experience. While you may know your case better than anyone, you probably aren't the best advocate for your position, especially if your case needs to go to court. There are numerous reasons why. Most people have not handled an injury claim before and have never appeared in court before. Even if you have, you will probably face an experienced claims adjuster on the other side or an experienced insurance defense attorney if your injury case must go to court. These insurance claims adjusters and insurance defense lawyers will have knowledge, training, and experience in the industry that you lack. You probably have never sent a written demand letter to the insurance company, negotiated an injury claim, interviewed witnesses, investigated an accident, argued motions in court, or filed a lawsuit with a court before. The list could go on. All of these steps and more may be necessary to present your case in the best possible light to the insurance company or large corporate defendant in your injury case in order to obtain a maximum settlement in your case. It is very unlikely that you can do that on your own without experience in legal training. Attorneys go through years of law school to advocate for others. It is almost always best to have an attorney there to advise you. If you do, your chance will have a much higher chance of success for the most possible compensation possible than you would otherwise have. Reason number three, not to represent yourself for your injury claim. The statistics show you get much more compensation if you hire an injury lawyer. Studies show that individuals represented by a lawyer generally receive much larger settlements than those who try to settle on their own. According to one study, it was found that 91% of people who hired a lawyer received a settlement. The same study showed that only 51% of people received a settlement without a lawyer. Additionally, that same study showed that legal representation also made a substantial difference in the amount of personal injury payouts. Those who hired a lawyer walked away with an average of $77,600 in compensation compared to an average of $17,600 for those who handled their own personal injury claim. An injury lawyer has been trained and has experience in negotiating injury claims in order to increase your chances of getting the maximum payout possible. Lawyers have the knowledge and experience to assess damages, present evidence, send demand letters, and mediate injury cases, which can all lead to effectively negotiating an injury settlement. Reason number four, not to represent yourself for your injury claim. Your lawyer can effectively handle all liens. So if you have health insurance, Medicaid, or Medicare that pays for any accident related treatment related to your injuries, you are contractually obligated to reimburse this money back to your health insurer, Medicaid, or Medicare provider. 
your health insurer, Medicaid, or Medicare provider has what is called a subrogation lien on your case for any accident related treatment they pay for. An injury lawyer can get in contact with your health insurer, Medicaid provider, or Medicare provider and resolve the lien they have on your case and many times even negotiate with them to reduce the lien to get more money in your pocket. This is a crucial step in your injury case and your lawyer should have the experience and knowledge to help you with this issue. Reason number five, not to represent yourself for your injury claim. Your emotions could cloud your judgment. Persons representing themselves tend to get nervous and become defensive under pressure. Instead of attacking the evidence, you may resort to making emotional arguments and reduce your effectiveness when presenting your claim to the insurance company or in court. Overly expressing your emotional frustrations with an insurance claims adjuster can have a negative impact on your claim. Similarly, if your case goes to court, disrupting a court proceeding and irritating the judge usually has a bad result on your case. The fact of the matter is that if you've been injured in an accident, it's in your best interest to try to retain an injury lawyer for your injury claim. Every single injury lawyer I know, including myself, provides free consultations so you have no financial risk at all in consulting with a lawyer. Additionally, every single lawyer I know, including myself, only takes a fee if they win or settle your case, so you will never have to give the injury lawyer your credit card or a check because they will be working on a contingency fee basis. So now that you know that it's not a good idea to represent yourself for your injury claim, you might be wondering if you will have a million dollar injury case if you hire an injury lawyer. And if that sounds like you, then you should definitely watch this video about to pop up right here where I explain the key factors that are usually present in million dollar injury cases. Also, for more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe to my channel right here. Lastly, if you've been injured in Kentucky, remember to don't wait, call Tate.